Okay. <gasps> Please. Yes. Oh my gosh, we made it through. Please land. No, I knew something like that was gonna happen. We hey, what's up, guys? Zach here. Welcome back to another video. So today, as you guys can see, we are back on Skate 3, and today we are once again doing an episode of Narrow Gap Challenges, also known as Thread the Needle Challenges. For those of you who don't know what these challenges are, basically these are challenges where I try to fit my skater into the most narrow spots around the Skate 3 map. They're always pretty difficult, but they're a ton of fun to try. So today, I have assembled a couple of new Narrow Gap Challenges for us to try, and they actually get harder and harder as the video goes on. So make sure you stick around until the to see the most narrow gap I've ever attempted. And of course, none of these videos would be possible without you guys sending in all of your beautiful clips. So thank you to everyone who's been sending in clips. And if you'd like to send in your own Epic Skate 3 challenges for me to try, please send them to me on Twitter, Instagram, or my subreddit. All the links are down in the description. And who knows, maybe your challenge will be in the next video. But all right, guys, that is enough chit chat. Without further ado, let's get into some narrow gap challenges. So our first challenge today comes from It's the Dopey Go Guy on the Skate 3 subreddit. Let's watch it. They're in a coffin. They go off this ramp and then, oh, they coffin through like the ticket booth window and come out the other side. Wait, let's watch that one more time. It was pretty quick. So they go off the ramp in a coffin and, oh, look how narrow that spot is. And they ride away on the other side. That is a great way to get this episode started. But all right, let's head toward the campus and we'll find this spot. All right, here we go. Oh my gosh, let's try not to get hit by a taxi. Uh, yes, I believe the spot is right up here. Yes, okay. So this is like the little area where the guy sits and like makes sure you pay so that you could drive. I, I don't really know. <laughs> I don't know what you guys want to call it, but we're going to try to... Uh, oh, look, we can actually go in here. We're going to try to coffin through the front window and then come out the door side like this. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> but all right, let's put down a ramp and we'll give this one a try. I'm assuming we can just use this wedge ramp. I'm pretty sure this is what they use in their video. So I'm just going to plop this one down. Oh, nope. Bring it back a little bit and plop it down there. Okay, that looks pretty good to me. Yes, so we need to launch right through that little square. So let's go up the hill. I don't think we're going to need too much speed for this because I think we can just roll downhill, let gravity kind of gain our speed for us. But all right, we're going to start here and let's just run at it and let's just give it a go. Hopefully we don't hit this guy that's just walking by in the middle of the road. Okay, we're going to get a couple ollies for speed into the coffin. Okay, here we go. Can we get a first try? Oh, okay. We're going way too slow. <laughs> I didn't think we needed that much speed, but we probably need more than that. So I guess we're going up a little bit higher. Why is my dude running like that? <laughs> he looks so weird. All right, attempt number two. As I said, guys, these challenges get more and more difficult as the video goes on. So hopefully this one doesn't take us too long. This should just be a warm-up challenge, but we'll see. Sometimes the easiest challenges are actually the hardest challenges. <laughs> I think I lost my speed there. So I'm going to get a couple ollies in here, and I'm going to try to pull out my coffin a little bit later than I did last time. So I think you slow down once you enter the coffin. Okay, here we go. Oh, this is looking great. And right through the window. Yes, <laughs> we're still going. You couldn't really see what happened. But there we go. That was three tries. It really only took me three tries. Cool. That was a good way to start off this video. That is actually quite the narrow gap. Look at that. <laughs> that actually looked like a lot of fun. All right. That was a great way to start off this video. Thank you for sending in that clip. Hey, what are you looking at, pal? What are you looking at, pal? Get out of town. What? How did he survive that? All right. Well, I guess I'm not messing with that guy. We should move on to the next challenge anyways. But all right. Our next challenge comes from Skate Jarvis on the Skate 3 subreddit as well. He's been featured on this channel quite a few times, but let's watch the clip. Looks like he's at the docks. He does the beach ball speed glitch. He goes flying down. He goes up this double ramp into a coffin and oh, right above the shipping crate through those little things holding it up. That is super narrow. All right. It definitely feels like the difficulty level is increasing here. So let's go down to the docks and we'll give this a try. All right, so right when you spawn in, you can actually see it. It's right up here above my head. Look at how narrow that is. We have to go in between those yellow things above the shipping crate. Okay, this is going to be pretty tough, actually. So we need to put down like a double ramp over here and then launch up in between those. Okay, well, we'll see how difficult it really is. Let's put down these ramps. So they actually use quite the contraption. It looks like it's like a large wedge ramp with a medium wedge ramp on top of it. So we're going to do the same thing. Uh, hopefully that'll get us the best chance of actually landing it because I assume this is just so that you can get a steeper launch angle. All right, I'm going to have to double check to make sure this is lined up because yeah, right now it's definitely not. All right, there we go. Now that ramp looks a little bit more lined up. So this should give us a chance at least. Now I have to place down a beach ball. As some of you may know, I'm not a big fan of the beach ball speed glitch. It's actually pretty hard to do, but here we go. We got our beach ball. We're just going to drop it on the sidewalk eh, right there. Oh my gosh, it's just rolling away. It's just leaving. Come on, bro. All right, here we go. Our first attempt, the beach ball speed glitch. Oh my gosh, yes, that is way too much speed, I think. Oh, actually, oh, that wasn't that bad. We're actually on top of the shipping crate right now. Oh, 
That's pretty cool. All right, not a terrible first attempt. I thought we were going too fast, but it didn't look too bad. So let's give it another go. The beach ball speed glitch can be really powerful sometimes. Oh, you gotta have to rein it in. I think if you run like through it instead of off the edge of it, you can kind of get a better speed glitch sometimes or get no speed at all and go. Okay, there we go. It's not the most consistent speed glitch. That's why I don't love it. Oh, wait. Oh, we actually made it through the two things we were trying to make it through. Now, of course, we're not going to count that, but look, it counts for something, I think. <laughs> we made it through both of them. Well, maybe not my foot. Oh, there we go. That looks like a perfect speed glitch. Can we get... Oh, what? The ramp just decided not to be a ramp. Okay. Oh, there's someone in the way. Nope, we're good. And up. Nice. Oh, we almost did a like, backflip through it. Somehow, this is only the third hardest challenge we're going to try today, too. All right, here we go. Oh, wait, what the f***? Okay. This looks like it could... Oh, come on, ramp. Every time I get, like, a perfect amount of speed, I feel like my ramp just stops ramping. I mean, how hard can it be to be a ramp? You just sit there. Come on! Oh, we made it through the first one, but not the second one. Okay, that's progress, but... Oh, a little frustrating. We were so close. Oh, ho, 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 let's go. That was so sick. My guy went like sideways through it. All right. That is another narrow gap challenge complete. Oh, we did that one in style. I'm going to be honest. I thought there was a chance that I hit the beach ball down here and bailed. That would have been so sad, but we made it. Yeah, that one definitely took a couple more tries than the first one. Oh, and my shoulder hit the box. That was so cool. All right. Oh, and I stuck the landing right next to the beach ball. All right, there we go. That was awesome. Thank you for sending in that challenge. That was actually a really tough one. Well, as I said earlier, guys, the challenges are only getting harder and harder. So let's move on to the next challenge. Our next challenge was posted on the ZexyZex subreddit by user Dr. Eckelschmecker. Let's watch it. Here they go. Beach ball speedlitch off the ramp and oh, through the super narrow memorial thing. That was so cool. Let's watch that back one more time right in between it i actually have done a narrow gap between one of those before but i did a super dude where i was going up and down now we have to go sideways like coffin style so we're gonna head over to the memorial and we will get going on this challenge every time i come over here i have to try to foot plant on the soldier's head funk oh okay <laughs> it didn't work that time anyways let's keep going you can actually see the statue up ahead of us surrounded by all of those things i don't know exactly what they're supposed to be but they're pretty cool oh there's actually so many of them i think we're gapping the one right in the middle though oh look at these banks i don't really skate here all too much but those look really fun but anyways here we are at the top you can barely even see it up there it's so high up there but basically we need to put a ramp down over here and unfortunately we have to do the beach ball speed glitch again which i'm not a huge fan of but we got to put a ramp here and then oh my gosh that's our target oh this is gonna be tough another tough narrow gap challenge but okay let's get our ramp down because we actually have to get higher this time i think we're gonna use a kicker instead of a wedge because i think height is going to be more important than distance on this challenge so here we go let's see is that lined up maybe i could rotate it a little but not only that we actually have to put down some landing ramps because if we actually made oh, okay i just face planted if we actually manage to uh make it through that super narrow gap we actually have to have a place to land so we have to put some ramps down here as well so i'm just gonna throw a bunch of random wedge ramps down here hopefully we're able to land on one of them if we make it through all right i put four down here i'm hoping we get lucky and we actually land on one of these i guess there's no promise that that'll happen, but, eh, you know, we'll see what happens. Oh my gosh, this is steep. How am I going to get back up this? Go, 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 yes! <laughs> It's always the side challenges that are fun too. And the last thing we need, of course, is the beach ball. I'm pretty sure this is the only time I've ever done two beach ball challenges in one video, which I'm not thrilled about. <laughs> Stop sending me beach ball challenges. Beach balls are like my arch nemesis in this game. I'm so bad at the beach ball speed glitch. Okay, that should be good. We want as much space as we can get here. So I'm going to set my marker and then start setting everything to my marker. All right, there we go. I guess the only thing we can do now is actually try it, but we're so close. I don't know how this beach ball speed glitch isn't just gonna launch us like that right into the wall. We need to get like a, a bad beach ball speed glitch. I don't even know exactly what we need. Oh, okay. That was actually pretty decent. I just have to hit the ramp. Okay, there we go. Yes, okay. We actually hit the ramp, but we weren't even close to making our gap. But hey, getting the first step is always the, 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 um, the, uh, the first, uh, every marathon starts with one step. That's deep, guys. And go. Oh, I'm actually getting this speed glitch. Go, come on, please. 
Oh, we actually hit the giant pillar thing, but we didn't go through it. Okay. Oh my gosh, that was the closest one yet. We actually made it through what we were trying to make it through, but my skateboard just barely clipped it. This is how close we were to making it through. Oh, why couldn't I have just done like a wall ride? But that's a good sign, I guess. It's a good sign that we're getting at least kind of close. Oh, oh. I like how there's so many people just like standing around watching me try this challenge. Okay, oh, please. Yes. Oh my gosh, we made it through. Please land. No, I knew something like that was going to happen. We made it through, but the ramps were in the wrong spot. Clearly, I think we need to... This was the one I think I almost landed on, so I'm going to move all of these. Oh, I literally called it. I knew something like that was going to happen. All right, but I've readjusted the ramps now. Hopefully, that doesn't happen again. Oh, yes. Oh, come on. Get through there. Get through there. Come on, dude. Oh, yes. Okay, come on. Please land on the ramp. Oh, my gosh. Again. Okay, please, come on. Oh, land that freaking board. Perfect, please, come on, land it. Why? I don't think I've ever done a challenge so many times and not been able to land it. Come on, this is it, this is it. Nice, please land this, please. Come on! All right, I'm switching the ramps down here. I don't know why I can't land on these things. I don't know. I was using wedge ramp larges, but maybe the medium ones are a little steeper? I have no idea. Yes! Let's go! Oh, the new ramp did it! All right! All I had to do was switch the landing ramp, but we finally landed that narrow gap. Wow! That was frustrating because I feel like I was doing the hard part of the challenge so many times over and over, and the only thing I couldn't land was the landing. But everything is a part of the challenge, I suppose. So there we go. Another narrow gap complete. Look at that. Right through this thing. Oh, that was so... My head almost hit it. That's crazy. Oh, that was a sweet angle and a sweet save. The fact that I kept rolling away from that was pretty cool. All right, there we go. Another challenge complete. All right, guys, we have one challenge left, and I am not exaggerating when I say it is definitely the most narrow gap I've ever attempted. It was posted by Illinois BB on my subreddit. Let's watch the clip. They're at the Super Ultra Meg Park. You can't really see them, but they reset right here. There they are. Speed glitch, and then, oh, once again, coffin right through that tiny little hole in the lights up there. That is crazy. I don't think they land anywhere, though. Let's watch it one more time. You can see it in slow-mo right through that little square and then <laughs> slam into the mountain. I don't think the challenge is to land and ride away cleanly. I think it's to just fit your skater in that spot. So this is going to... So this is going to be pretty tough, but let's head over to the Super Ultra Mega Park for one final challenge. All right, here we are at the Super Ultra Mega Park, and that is what we are trying to gap through. It is so small up there. But at least this time I can use the uh, insane speed glitch, the backwards man speed glitch, instead of the beach ball speed glitch. All right, here we are at the Super Ultra Mega Park. So this is where they speed glitch up this little ramp, and then they go through one of the holes up there. Yes, up on, I believe those are lights. I'm not really sure, but yes, we're trying to get up there. Now, luckily, I can actually use the insane speed glitch for this instead of the beach ball speed glitch that we've been using this episode because I am a little bit better at this speed glitch okay maybe not it's not right there but you never get the speed glitch first try okay but there we go oh look at the speed glitch yes so we are trying to go uh, more to the left through this narrow gap I have no idea how I'm gonna line this up I think I'm just gonna have to get really really lucky I have to get the right speed glitch the right amount of speed and then somehow coffin through oh uh, that was surprisingly close actually I've definitely never done anything as narrow as this before, but one good thing is that I don't actually have to ride away. Oh, we're outside of the map. Now, I don't know how much control I actually have over this challenge. I honestly do think it might just come down to getting lucky. <gasps> oh, oh, we did it. <laughs> I'm right when I said it comes down to getting lucky. Wait, we made it through. Oh, that was so sick. I can't believe that worked. Oh, that is such a relief. I spent so long on the last challenge. I thought this one was going to take forever as well. But look at that. We got so lucky. Look, what? <laughs> My guy went right through it. He came out on the other side. I was just so surprised and boom, slam into the mountain. As you can see, the game instantly sends you back when you touch the mountain. It's not because I bailed. So I guess that's why uh, the person who sent me the clip wasn't able to land it because it's out of bounds technically. So you can't even skate over there. But wow, we did it. All right. That was so narrow. Oh, look at that.
That was sick. All right, let's try to film this somehow. I have no idea what angle I'm going to try to get here. <laughs> this is just such a small little hole that I go through. That is awesome. All right, thank you for sending in that challenge. Oh, so narrow. All right, well, there we go. Well, all right, guys, I think that is going to do it for this video. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. I'm hyped that we land four narrow gap challenges today. But anyways, that is going to do it. So if you guys have any epic skate 3 challenges you'd like to see me try, please send them to me on Twitter, Instagram, or my subreddit. All the links are down in the description. And if you enjoyed this video, please leave a thumbs up. And as always, stay sexy. See you guys.